hi friends uh, uh, good evening uh, this is my first video with regard to the BPSC mains examination to be uploaded on YouTube so please friends this is my humble request please like share and subscribe it friends actually I have decided to put and post some videos with regard to the BPSC mains exam examination on topic wise so uh, I have already uh, chalked out a plan for giving five minutes lecture on every each and every topic of the current affairs and GS relating to BPSC mains today's topic is fortification of foods these days you must be knowing about that the people are talking about fortification of the foods importance of fortification of the foods how fortified uh, foods will be helpful to the health of human beings and even government is also planning FSSI is also working hard on this field so today I will tell you what is fortification fortification is nothing but an addition or input of the micronutrient materials into the food items micronutrients means iodine vitamins zinc iron etc or minerals etc that are very much required for our health but since we are very much ignorant and it does not affect our body so immediately so we are very much unknown with regard to this however government is planning to put some planning policies with regard to it so that fortification of the foods may be in a limelight the fortification means basically addition of the micronutrients elements or essential elements to the food items so as to reach minerals to the human body ultimately as we know that our human have a habit of food items or our natural or cultural eating habits are entirely different and we are not able to change it because uh, we are very much habitual of taking stuffed foods so government is planning in fact FASSI is also uh, given directives to in uh, to add such trace materials to the food items so addition of the micronutrients element in the food items is called fortification so fortified items may be of uh, may, be, may be related to any things like oil uh, food items uh, like cakes biscuits or even fruits also and uh, wheat also rice also many things even in our government uh, since last year uh, state governments are planning like MP MP government has already initiated to um, provide fortified oil in the midday meal schemes where people are uh, providing these oils to the schools uh, in which food items are being cooked and provided to the children where children are well nourished uh, they are getting fortified foods and getting the some essential micronutrients in their bodies so my fortific in fortifications uh, these uh, minerals vitamins and genes and uh, iodine these all and trace elements are being added uh, you must be knowing about that in our country about one third of the uh, children are malnourished in fact not one third in fact 44 percent of india are under the weight in the range of five uh, zero to five years so ultimately you can guess that our country is the hub or the capital of malnourished children it means that one third of the world's malnourished children are residing in our country hmm. next is some uh, 72 percent of the infants 72 percent of the infants are anemic in our country and 52 percent of the married women are also anemic anemic so ultimately you can guess that what is the importance of micronutrients in our body so governments emphasize governments emphasized policy is to provide fortified food items to our children and people uh, next important topic is that okay, what is the reason behind it so ultimately I will tell you for the deficiency of vitamin A xerophthalmia night blindness, light blind, night blindness occurs 
secondly in case of deficiency of iron anemia is very much prevalent in case of zinc is deficient so uh, we will be facing that hair loss is there weight loss is there and uh, um, eye and skin lesions are also very much prevalent because of zinc deficiency so ultimately you will must, you must be knowing about that the deficiency of the mineral items which is causing various kinds of disease in our body are very much targets of our health policies so fortification of the food item has become a very much significant policy of FASSI uh, last line uh, last uh, things which I want to tell you that uh, many state governments are also working as I have already told that MP government had started fortified oil need to be provided to the midday meal scheme midday midday meal scheme similarly even Haryana and Punjab governments are working on, uh, also working on this on this with regard to dairy uh, dairy items even Maharashtra has also started a pilot basis project with regard to the fortified from food items so friends this uh, this was regarding fortification of the food items what is the importance of food items how it is prevalent in our country how and what is what are the scope of fortified items in our country these all things i have tried to cover it if anything is still lacking please suggest me give your valuable comment so as to improve this video and last things which i will tell you i will request you please like it share it and subscribe that's all thank you thank you very much friends